Hey, what's up? Welcome to Being Classy. In this video, I want to show you how to change the indentation in Google Docs. Let's jump in. All right, so here's a Google Doc open that I just have four sections of text. You can see the titles. We'll just go through and I'll show you the two ways that you can change these indentation styles in Google Docs. The first one is a first line indent. So if there's a piece of text that's already typed and you want to change that text to a different indent, I'm going to highlight all of it. Again, there's two ways that you can change the indentation. The first way that I like to use most is by using the ruler feature seen here at the top. My ruler is showing right now. If yours isn't showing, you can click on view, show ruler. So now my ruler is gone. To open it back up, you click view, show ruler. Now, to use the ruler to do a first line indent in Google Docs, you go up here where there's a blue bar with an arrow underneath. Just click on the blue bar and you can drag that over to half an inch. That's the most common first line indent size is half an inch, but you can change it to whatever size you'd like. So by dragging just the bar found in the ruler on the top left corner, you can change this to a first line indent. Now you'll see down here in my highlighted text that just the first line is indented half an inch and the rest of the text falls back to the line notated by this downward arrow. The other way that you can change this indentation to first line indent is after you've highlighted the text, go to format, scroll down to align and indent, go down to indentation options. If you click on that, a window will pop up and you can go down here to special indent. You can choose first line. It auto generates to 0.5 because that's the most basic indentation used in most formatting styles and you can click apply. And now you can see that both the first line of this text and the bar that we showed you previously are changed to a first line indent. So let's move down here to the hanging indent. Again, we're gonna highlight the text. So if we're on the ruler, one thing we can do to change this to a hanging indent is we can grab the whole bar and the arrow by clicking on the arrow and it will all drag over. So let's say we drag it over to half, but now this actually started to do a left indent. We need this to be a hanging indent. So you can go back up and you can grab the bar which controls the top line of the highlighted text and drag it back to where it was. So now this text is showing a hanging indent in Google Docs where the first line is right on the margin line notated in this gray area and the rest of the text is half an inch over. The other way you can do this is go to format, align and indent, indentation options. Again, you go down to special indent and choose hanging 0.5 is most commonly what's used and now again you'll see the bar and the arrow and the ruler are correct and so is your text. The first line is left aligned on the margin and the remaining lines are all indented half an inch. So this is a hanging indent. Real quick, if for any reason you wanted to change the indentation of a whole section, not just first line or hanging, you can highlight that section. And just as we did before, grab both parts, the bar and the arrow in the ruler and drag them over. When they drag over together, that changes the whole left side indentation. And same way, if you highlight this portion for the right indent, there's one arrow on the right side on the top right corner of the ruler. You can grab that for the right indent and drag it over as well. And the same way, if you wanted to change the left or right indent in Google Docs without using the ruler, you can go format, Go down to align and indent and you can choose indentation options and then you can change the specific distance for your indentation here. So now these are four different sections of text, all different types of indents in Google Docs. I hope you found this video helpful. Please press that like button, share it with anybody else who might benefit from it and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our content. We'll see you in the next video.